What's up everybody? Today I'm out doing some beaver trapping slash fishing with who? You guys know Trapper Jay? If you don't know Trapper Jay, go check him out. I'm gonna put his link down in my subscription. A lot of you guys know him, does a ton of trapping down in Missouri. Um, how long did you have to drive to get here? Eight hours, eight? just to ride around. There. Eight hours. So we better catch at least one fish today and <laughs> hopefully, hopefully a beaver tomorrow. Um, I'll turn this around quick. Maybe I will. Well, we're gonna walk up to the beaver lodge here and we'll give you a little picture of it all. All right, we got a big, big lodge there. Got a big feed pile right here. Um, yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of cuttings up along here. I've never trapped this lodge before. I was actually out here fishing and seen this and said, hey, let's save this for a special occasion. So this is gonna be the day. Hopefully, we'll see if there's some runs and stuff here and set them up. So let's get at her. Oh, on. All right, you guys, big lodge right there. There's a run right here. See this? Watch that. Right now, in Minnesota, obviously, there shouldn't be no ice here. I mean, there should be three feet of ice here. There's one beaver run there. And then there's another one over here. Oh, there it is right there. There's another one right here somewhere. There is a little bit of brush over the top of this, so it might be, it might be a little bit of a problem setting them but I think I'm gonna poke around the shoreline a little bit and try to find a bank den I don't know the snow is really deep it's gonna make it a giant pain in the ass to locate them so but spend some time there so that'll be one trap will go right here a there. yep a little skinnier That's, oh, it kind of the lodge kind of comes out and overlaps over the top of the thing here. So right there, I think I'm going to set another one like right about here somewhere. We'll try to gang trap them. Need all that snow move. Yeah. Mm. There you go. Yep, right. That's right where I'm going to set it. <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> A little thinner there. <laughs> fast right here okay to where it's on the bottom the ice is touching the bottom right over here <laughs> so it's like where they they got nowhere to go and you got a log right here and right here is probably where you want your trap at and i do have a small leak i think <laughs> i got one right in my crotch <laughs> <laughs> oh let me kick some of this back in there that's all right <laughs> go grab yeah, one more trap one. Grab another trap and grab my axe too. Mm. All right, got a run over there. Got one run here. This one's like really shallow and long. So just to up our trapping percentage, I'm gonna add three traps here. If we can just catch one beaver tomorrow, it'd be great. Yeah. Three beavers would be. That's pretty good odds. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> yeah. Oh, let's see here. I'll throw this guy. No pressure, right? Right. <laughs> All right, we got a Duke 330 here. I'm going to shove this right through here. Make sure, make sure the run didn't move away. Get this guy right. On bottom here. Like so. And then I'm gonna wire it up right here. I didn't bring my rubber gloves because I like to put my hands in the water. Not really. But I just forget. Huh? <laughs> Carpal tunnel when I'm 41. Alright, find my trap. There it is. So I'll but if my trap isn't in place, I'll pull up on this a little bit so it'll swivel on the stick. And I'll put it over where I want it to be and I'll let go. It'll literally drop to bottom. I'll take my stick and I'll push it over on the spring just to push it so it's nice and flat on bottom. My swivel stick, put it down. I can feel the top of it. The trap's out. I can feel the trap is facing out a little bit. I'm just going to pull it back a couple inches. There, now it's right even with the swivel stick. See this? And I'll follow this out. 
And then a second, the second it goes around this corner, I go like that, I know it's in between the jaws. I'll shove it in bottom, take my gloves off first. Try and keep them out of the water. There we go, I'm moving my stick. And now I know that that swivel stick is in place. Take these off. I'm gonna, you watch. These are so brittle, I'm gonna shove on one, it's gonna snap in half, I'm gonna go face oh. first. <laughs> oh, okay. Get this guy in here like so. my <laughs> log I drug this out of the run you guys might not have seen that but it was right in the way over the top of it and I couldn't can't really get around it got a swivel stick here where's the trap at all the way over there huh move this trap around a little bit Don't try this at home, you guys. So a lot of times I'll, I'll put my foot and I'll follow the stake down and I'll push it on it and then I'll make sure it's all the way on the bottom. Don't, if you guys haven't trapped before, don't do this because I don't I want- I always, always tell my viewers that if you're looking for your trap, to just go straight down. Yeah, and you- Don't ever you know, go this way, side <laughs> side. Swinging your foot left or right. If you just, like I said, if you just follow it straight down, you're not gonna, well, you shouldn't get caught. <laughs> I'm not gonna say not, because someone will get caught. Oh, okay, let's see here. That. A swivel stick in the bottom here. Hey, now, will that be clear enough you can see your trap tomorrow? Huh? So when you look in there, will you be able to tell far enough by looking in? I, the yard water's so dirty, oh. I have to reach in. Yep, I always, so actually, I, I check all my traps with my chisel. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Trap number two is deployed. A little snow over it. All right, you guys, we're gonna flip this around. We got there's three sets. There's there's one run there, but we got two sets in. Another one over there. One set in. Like there's no ice over this. This is a this is a big lodge. So hopefully we'll get some beaver. But now this is actually gonna be a two part thing. So day one is gonna be setting and catching some fish, and hopefully Trapper Gabe will get a pike today. I'll be happy. With that wasn't my phone anyway so we're gonna go we're gonna try to catch some fish right now and then uh tomorrow will be another part i think i think we'll see i don't know you'll see now obviously yo what's up everybody we're back check this beaver lodge here um we checked this yesterday trapper jay came and helped me um didn't have any beaver in there i think you know that there's a lot of deep snow around the lodge and we made some pretty good sized holes around you know over the run there i think that they seen that light and got kind of skittish um hopefully today might have a beaver or two um if not i'm gonna do a couple day check on it um yeah i'm pretty sure it's the only two runs in the lodge so we'll check her out all right Set beaver trick. a little bit of snow cover last night might have helped now today's the last day it's gonna be warm on you guys just so you know like after today tomorrow's high is like 42. Trap sprung. Huh, I think this trap is sprung. I don't feel much in it, you guys.
yeah, it's, there's a beaver in it. Or something, something in it anyway. Huh. Oh, what we got here, guys? Oh, yeah, there's a beaver. Oh. Huh. There's a beaver, you guys, right there. Right there, you guys. Got that guy coming in. Somehow he made it past that 330, though. That's weird. Huh. I'll double check that trap. Maybe it's sprung. Come on. Come on. <sighs> there we go. cold out today so we're gonna drop this trap back in the water so it doesn't ice over I'll run this guy through the snow a little bit here caught him coming in from somewhere we got there's some high banks everywhere here you guys and it kind of sucks because of all the snow down here but what do you do you know maybe later in the ice season when I can come out here, ooh, he's did a little something on the ice there. Let me double check this trap. Gosh, I feel nothing in here. Small beaver, he could have crawled around it though, I guess. got around it somehow you guys okay you guys i did some digging there's those two sets there you know we're here look at this hole i dug you guys that is a shallow bank den right there peeled sticks floating in it everywhere holy crap i have to dig and this is why it's so tough to trap beaver right now i could drive a car out here on the lake but the snow blows to the shoreline and then you're just screwed basically Anyway, I found that run. There might be more. I don't know. I'm going to poke around a little bit. But I'm going to set this 330 in that bank den right there. And uh, hopefully that will up our chances of getting a few more beaver out of here. Yeah. Yo, what's up? We're back. This beaver lodge over here. I did set another bank den. Or a bank den yesterday that I found. It was a pain trying to dig it out. But I got it set. Hoping to add to our beaver count of one from yesterday. Yeah, I see a snowmobile is driven up at the beaver house and made a UE in the left. Hopefully they didn't steal my stuff. If they do, we're gonna have to find them and we're gonna have to get that stuff back. Anyway, all right, let's get at it. All right, you guys, I had to dig down. We barely, we got a dusting of snow last night and literally that little tiny bit of snow blew all my sets in. Ridiculous, right? Well, nothing in these two. But I did set this bank den yesterday, you guys. And we have connect, we have connection on a beaver here, you guys. I'll try to dig it out and give you guys a nice little look here. Okay, hopefully you guys can see all this. I see some of it anyway. My trap stakes right here. Push it in the bottom of that clay. This could be open water, you guys, and this trap was going nowhere. When you shove a stake into the bottom of this cl uh, clay anywhere, that's it. Game over. Beaver ain't going anywhere. Oh, you guys, this is. By the way, it's warm out today, you guys. It's like 39 degrees. It's a love hate relationship. I love it because. It's warm out, but it makes the snow all sticky and, you know, not easy to manage and whatnot. Anyway, what do we got here? Hey, there's a bigger beaver. Bigger beaver. Ugh. There we go, you guys. 
two-year-old right there. Two-year-old coming into this into this bank den. So I got those two runs covered. Nothing coming in, nothing in those at all. This beaver was caught coming in. That means he came in from somewhere, whether it be another run in this lodge I'm not finding, or probably another bank den. Um, there's definitely gonna be a large number of them in here. So I got a small one yesterday, two-year-old today. There's gotta be some giant matri matriarch in here somewhere, you guys. So I'm gonna reset this trap and uh, we're gonna keep at her. But that was a, that's a good head catch. When I was, when Trapper G was here with me to set these traps, we, we had not found this bank down at the time because it was just cold and the snow was so deep. This was not ideal. Come on. Stop I know you had your paw between the trap. There we go. Get this guy out of here quick. I didn't get this set on camera yesterday, but we'll do the remix today. said it just like that all right you guys so essentially got a stick here and a stick here both of these sticks are are just channeling the beaver through one small area okay beaver come out they might bump into the stick and they're gonna see it and they're just gonna move over and go right into this 330 The runs on the lodger are, are nice and clear, but the water appears kind of murky. I don't know if that's from the beaver working or what the deal is. But got my safety wired up. Run the spring strap to the springs. This is a pretty easy set. Get it right in the center there. Shove that down in the clay. It's gonna be warm, so I don't have to worry as much about the springs freezing in. But you gotta push them down under water regardless. Like so. There we go. Trap placement's good. Swivel stick, important. stick is in trap is reset and ready to catch another beaver I'm gonna throw a little snow in here to block some of the light out I think I think that beaver this time of year you set up these runs these beaver are used to being dark as they come out and then all of a sudden they come out and there's a giant hole they get really leery because they didn't know that that was there before and I think that might be the issue with some of these traps but anyway that's one uh, one big beaver, beaver number two for this lodge. We'll uh, come back and check in probably tomorrow. Yo, what's up? We are back for another check on this lodge. It's been two days. Let these traps soak a little bit. Hopefully pull a couple beaver beavers on this check. Really warm out today. It's like 46 or 47 degrees. So there shouldn't be any ice over these runs, if any. Um, yeah, going to go check them and then probably let them soak for two more days and then pull them. Yeah, so this is that house that me and Trapper Jay set up. Um, and we've only got two beavers so far, but better than nothing. Anyway, let's go uh, check some traps, I guess. Give her a little looky there. Hey, boy. Ooh. Oh, yeah, this is beaver. There's a beaver. In fact, they chewed my sticks off, so I'm going to say that more than one beaver has been through here since I set this trap. Let's see what we got. There we 
Joel. Look at that, you guys. Right there, boys. Not a big one. The other one they've got out here with a two-year-old. I'm gonna, I, I might, you guys, I might take one of those traps out and set it right over here. Because I know darn well that another beaver has been through here since I caught this one. I just don't get why I'm not getting them in the house. So much snow here makes it hard for me to check for other runs and stuff, you guys. Kind of a pain in the butt. But snow is melting fast, which means spring beaver trapping is right around the corner for me. It's gonna be some good stuff, you guys. Can't wait to put out some spring beaver trapping videos. Come on, here. There we go. Put down. There we go. There we go, you guys. Another small beaver here. So nothing crazy, but another beaver. I'm gonna reset this trap, and I I might just go out here, three or four feet, and, and move one of these traps. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll see you in a couple days on my last check. Okay, guys. All right, you guys. So reset this trap. I can see the beavers have. I don't know. There's a bunch of peeled sticks there. So the beaver definitely gone through here. Whether they came through here and just chop my stuff off or what I don't know could be maybe I got a beaver again I don't see my trap here does it just sprung this time they've been through here like crazy you guys huh maybe this is the first miss I'll get on this trap it is guys I got a miss on this 330 god darn it well it came through and chewed this stick off so there's I mean there's plenty of beaver left in here I might have to come back these farmer farmer let me I'll drive through his field but yeah there's a nice bank down there well let's go check these other traps over here quick Go home and cry, probably. You know, there's nothing in this one either. I don't know. Mm. Almost lost my chisel there. That would not be good. Wait, oh, we got a beaver, huh? We got a beaver, you guys, last chance saloon. Little guy, yep, a oh, big one. That's a bigger beaver, two-year-old. There we go. Hopefully you guys saw that. Okay. The wind is horrible. There we go, you guys. So I got two small beavers, two two-year-olds out of here. I will guarantee you there are more beaver in here than this. I don't know. Got this guy coming in, but he made it past this trap. There must be a split or something in the run there that allows him to go around it. But uh, yeah, well, ain't so bad. I still plan on coming back and trapping because once the snow is gone, the bank tons will be open. I might just come back here and do footholds. Try and catch them in drowning drowners. Save the 330s for other lakes yeah well you guys we got four beaver i believe right yeah two two year olds two smaller ones there are much bigger beaver in that lodge i'll guarantee it lodge has been there a long time it's big anyway i'll probably gonna try to get a little revenge on these guys this spring maybe we'll see maybe i'll wait till next winter anyway it was fun, um, like I said, it's, it's been a week, you know, since uh, Trapper Jay's been here. But look at, look at how much snow is gone, you guys. It's been in the, you know, high 40s all the time, so, but yeah. Anyway, 
wanted to thank Trapper Jay for coming out and hanging with me. Um, hopefully, you can come out this spring or summer. Um, probably, you know, summertime would be great. Uh, walleye bite's great. Crappie bite is great. Uh, we might be able to chase some cats or whatever, but it'd be great. I said great a lot, didn't I? Anyway, it was fun having Trapper Jay with. Um, got some good video with him. He caught a really nice pike. Um, it was just, just fun. I always wanted to, to hang out with him, and hopefully they'll have more in the future. Anyway, you guys, hope you enjoyed this trap video. I got a lot of trap videos coming. I plan on it. I'm, I'm, I'm buying two or three dozen Belial's, a dozen and a half footholds. Um, you'll probably be seeing beaver trapping videos well into summer because I just can't put them up every single day. Uh, yeah, late ice video is coming, fishing, and I'm going to start doing some trapping here pretty soon, you guys. Anyway, please like, share, subscribe. Appreciate it all, guys. Peace out.